So these are all the 3D printed pieces. Uh, that one broke. It's kind of a thin piece. So I'm going to have to glue that back on. But first I'm going to clean it up. Get rid of all the, uh, all the support pieces. And uh, then I'll worry about gluing that up. But two pieces of the handle. This I might not use. Or I might use a part of it as spacers. Uh, for that part there because originally I thought I was going to use this whole piece, but I think I'm just going to make it so that it conforms to this shape and then the umbrella will go in there Which right now the holes uh, looks like it's a pretty small hole like quarter inch or three sixteenths inch hole um, But I'm going to clean this up and then uh, get started on assembling this and then probably paint it and then uh, glue it all together I reprinted this piece of the handle because the first time I printed it lying down so I printed all the support pieces attached there which is uh, it's gonna be a lot of work cleaning it up so I figured I'd print it this time standing up and uh, this time I printed out a whole lot nicer I mean there's not a lot I have to do to it maybe some minimal sanding but it looks really good uh, compared to this piece so I'm gonna use this piece so I still need to uh, remove some of the material here because this doesn't quite fit up. So I'm going to come in here with the Dremel and sand this and uh, get it so it'll fit together and come together as one piece. So these two pieces go together now. And this is a spacer that I made. So this is going to go in here to fill a lot of the gap. that I'm going to need for this metal rod. This metal rod is going to connect to the umbrella's uh, rod. So I made this spacer to take up the gap. So, but it's too long. So I'm going to mark it and uh, cut it to length because this has to be mounted on top of here. And I don't want to drill this out uh, anymore. So instead I'm just going to cut this down. So just use the, my bandsaw to cut that down. I mean, you could use a saw or something. But now, if it's nice and flush, so now this can all come together like so. So I'm just going to glue that, epoxy that to that. And then I can put in my rod through there. And there we go, getting closer. I will need to cut this down once I figure out the right size or the right length. But uh, again, I'll just use my bandsaw for that. So I printed out this piece. This piece is supposed to be part of the blade or the base of the blade that goes in here but I'm having fitment issues and I'm not going to use this whole piece. I just want to use this part of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this off 
and then cut it in half. And that way I can put one half on this side and the other half on this side. And that'll kind of act as a spacer for the umbrella. Um, at least that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm not sure how well it's going to come out. As you can see, I already kind of started sanding it and that didn't work out so well. But uh, if anything, I just need this to take up some room so when I epoxy everything together, uh, it doesn't have to be all filled with epoxy. Uh, so cross fingers and wish me luck. Okay, so that's a piece I cut off, cut it in half. And ideally this will go in here. You can see it's going to take up too much space right now. So I need to just sand this, grind this down some more. Get it to where it fits well. If I can get it out. So, more sanding. So these are the two little spacer pieces I made. I sanded them down and got them to fit right inside of there. Um, they're not perfect, but they just pretty much take up space. So now I'm just going to glue those in there. And these are the Thundercats logo that are going to go in the little spaces. I'm going to prep these a little bit by sanding. And then we're going to prime them and paint them. So when I put the super glue on there, as soon as I put the handle on there, man, it like locked on. I didn't have a chance to adjust it or anything. You can see this side's pretty good. This was a little bit proud. I mean, I can always sand that down. Um, doesn't look terrible though. I think it's still gonna look good. Um, but yeah, now I just gotta prep it. Sand it a little bit, get rid of some of these uh, rough edges, and then paint it and weather it and try to make it look like a real sword handle. Okay, so this metal rod is going to go inside of here, but we don't want it to mess up this mechanism here. So we want to make sure we hit it and then back it out a little bit. I'm going to put a mark there. Let's know how deep I need to go in. And then we also need to figure out how deep it can go it can go in here. So actually it's probably better to mock it up like this. I know it can't go to that mechanism there. So that's bottomed out. And I know this will stop at right below the hilt there. So I can mark this right about here. Now it doesn't have to be exactly on as long as it's not too too long, it will work. Because this section is also going to be glued onto the this, this part of it. And then inside of the spacer there as well. So I'm hoping that'll work. Uh, now I'm just gonna go over to my uh, bandsaw and cut this down. Okay, now we'll do a test fit. So actually throw this in here. There we go. I think that'll work. One of the things I did, or I forgot to do, was to tape this off. 
Uh, this is going to get uh, glue applied to it later, and if it's got paint on it, it won't get a good good adhesion. So I just covered that up, masked that off with tape. And I also added a little bit of uh, wood filler here and there, just to cover up some of these seams before I hit it again with another coat of the uh, filler primer. So I'm going to go ahead and spray that next.